What up, thugs? Welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie. I'm Will. And we are resellers, meaning we flip items online for a profit. In today's video, it's going to be a little different. Me and Natalie are going to split up. She's going to go take a look at some Harley shirts that a guy's selling for a yard sale. We're actually uh, going a day early. Yeah. And then I'm going to go to the charity thrift shop that Natalie went to for the $5 bag sale. So let's get into it. All right, so this guy made a listing on Facebook that he was going to be having a yard sale the next day after this day. And Will contacted him asking if we could come by early to check out the stuff before the yard sale, which he agreed to. So we're basically getting first pick at a yard sale. Now this is the t-shirt that we came for. On the listing, we saw a sleeve that looked like it had lightning on it and we were hoping it was this exact t-shirt and it was. Super duper excited about this one. It's a grail. You always be on the lookout for Harley Davidson lightning shirts. And then I came across the first Harley Davidson robe. It's a super heavyweight robe with the embroidered logo on the back. I looked it up as I was there because I didn't know about the South rate or what they were going for. And it had some really good comps. So I got that robe for $10 and it should sell for 50 plus shipping. So finish up at the uh, yard sale before the yard sale because the yard sale is tomorrow. Ended up with seven t-shirts and I also picked up the robe. Paid $5 for the t-shirts and $10 for the robe. If you see lightning on Harley Davidson, great pickup. Always pick up that. They are just very sought after t-shirts. But what <laughs> made me sad, he said, that his neighbor had come by yesterday before he had even posted uh, the yard sale advertisement online. So before he had posted it, his neighbor had come by and asked if he was gonna do the yard sale. And he was like, yeah, I'm selling a lot of Harley stuff. And the neighbor was like, I'm sweating. Can I come see? Picked up 50 shirts, long sleeves, t-shirts. He went into his closet and just, had first pick of everything and I'm like oh, why'd you tell me this so I'm like sweating because I'm so jealous and I'm hot and <sighs> it's hard to be super excited about you know getting some cool items when you know that someone just picked up 50 Harley shirts 
50. Yeah. So you can only imagine what he picked up. If he left this and picked up 50 other shirts, you can only imagine what type of shirts he got. So, yeah, that's that. All right, guys, so I'm waiting in my car. Uh, there is a solid line that I seen that was forming over there. Uh, and again, this place is $5 fill a bag. So I'm just gonna be running through and throwing stuff in my bag. Hopefully Natalie's out there finding some good Harley shirts at that uh, little meetup that we scheduled. But uh, let's get into it. Alright, so walking in here, Natalie gave me the layout, and I knew to bang a left here and go straight for the jackets. First find here is an Eddie Bauer, like, hiking, fishing vest. So I didn't know anything about it, and I just put it in my bag and was going to look it up later, and it was a pickup. Moving along with the jackets, the next pickup here is a Nike brown track jacket. This one, as you guys know, it's an automatic pickup. This one is a Nike golf windbreaker. Um, I picked it up to look it up later, and it had some paint stains on it, so that was a putback. Next up is one of my favorite finds. It's this Russell Athletic Villanova basketball sweatshirt made in USA. I estimate we could probably get about $45 shipped for this one and boom. We got a Nike center check hoodie here. There's no drawstrings, but these should be an automatic pickup for everyone. Should get about $85 for that. Next, we have a one fourth zip. Here it is. Villanova champion hoodie. Bread and butter piece here. Should get about 20 to 25 plus shipping on that. So I found this Orvis button snap sweatshirt. Usually wouldn't pick this up at Goodwill, but when we get the stuff for about 35 cents an item here, it's definitely worth a pickup. As a Flyers fan, this next pickup here, I didn't like too much, but I had to scoop it. It's a New Jersey Devils vintage sand knit jersey. Should get around $35 to $50 for it. It's a size medium, so we might sit on it for a little bit. We love our vintage t-shirts, especially sports teams. This one is a vintage, I think 1992 Carolina Panthers shirt. Should get about 20 shipped for it. Easy to photograph, easy to ship. So this is just a dollar, you don't have it? Okay. As you can see here, my bag is getting pretty full and I was pleasantly surprised because Natalie was here only last week and they only do these things once a week. Next up here, I have a Michigan Elk Rapid sweatshirt here, bread and butter piece. I think we could get about 20 to 25 shipped on this item. Here we have a Virginia Tech long sleeve. We're not expecting much of it, about 20 shift for it. So now I'm venturing out to the other sections of the place here. This side is the women's section. 
I look and see a sleeve there. It's a gray full zip Harley Davidson women's hoodie. We usually wouldn't pick this up at Goodwill, but for 30 cents, we could probably get about $20 plus shipping on it. All ready, miss. Okay. Let me um, tie the top of your bag up. It, it or ripped. Or you could have. <laughs> you might could have. It's okay. I'm just tossing it right in my trunk. All right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. See you then. So I would say it was a pretty successful haul. I haven't even like went through it to see what stains or if there's any holes on items, but I got a whole bag for $5. So regardless, if there is a few items that have stains or holes, just doesn't change the price of this. So overall, my favorite find from what I seen uh, was that center check Nike hoodie. That might be a personal. I know Natalie's gonna try and wanna keep it, but we're coming back every week to this.